Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be reviewing one, uh, another one of my G.I. Joes. So let's get started here. Hope you enjoy the video. First of all, let's take a look at the box. Um, this is the G.I. Joe Advanced Weapons Tester. A very nice figure, and a very rare one at that. Uh, he was very hard to find. I got him on eBay. Um, it took me a while to get him. You don't see him a lot, so uh, I'm excited to review this one. Okay, here's the box. We got some nice uh, artwork in the background there. Here are the sides. And on the top we have his equipment list. In the back of the box we have some more artwork of the weapons tester and then a summary um, and this figure came out around 2003 so that's why you see the Liberators collection here they also um, came out around 2003 alright so there's the box uh, neat looking box here definitely one of the newer ones that came out let's take a look at the figure here I'm very excited about this one. This is one of my favorite Joes that I have. Just a very unique one, in my opinion. Uh, looks very cool. Here he is with all of his equipment and his neat uh, advanced weapon here. So there he is. Overall, I like the way he looks. Love the green camo. Love these knee pads here and the arm pads. It just looks really good. Like I said, he's very rare, so I was very happy when I got him back in the early summer. Alright, so let's go ahead and take off his equipment. I'll let you take a look at everything. First, I'm going to take off his helmet. You have a uh, nice chin strap here. But uh, the best part about this helmet is you have this neat eye scope that he can use with his advanced weapon here so there that is um, <laughs> unfortunately I had this helmet lying on the ground uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, somebody stepped on it so this eyepiece actually came off and cracked the whole thing here but uh, luckily I was able to glue it back on so it doesn't look too bad but um, unfortunately one of the functions it had is you could put it up so he, um, he could just it would just look like a normal helmet but uh, can't do that anymore it just has to stay down unfortunately that's a shame actually but uh, oh well anyway so there's the helmet you got the green camo you got a little strap coming around here <clears throat> okay and here's the figure here is the head sculpt um, this is a really cool head sculpt. I like this one a lot. He's got like chestnut, orangish red hair, uh, very bright blue eyes. He just looks pretty good. I like this head sculpt. It looks good. G.I. Joe or Hasbro did a good job with this head sculpt. And uh, as a matter of fact, they did a good job with almost all of their head sculpts. Uh, um, I think I, I pretty much have every single head sculpt that came out around this time period uh, from like 1999 to 2004 around that time uh, I just love all the different heads they put out uh, a lot of work and detail went into them so anyway sorry about the little rant there let's take a look at this gun here because this gun is very cool here it is his advanced gun we got a lot of functions on this. First of all, we have this scope here. Um, these sights do kind of pop out. So there's that, and it does come off. So there is the scope to the gun. Pretty advanced looking there. Okay. Um, next, this comes off as well. So, here is this part of the gun. Um, 
this uh, does pull back this function here so you can load it or cock it rather and here's the ammo clip um, this looks like a very powerful uh, machine gun or some type of gun here the, the bullet looks very big so I'm guessing that's some sort of powerful machine gun and then this one is the smaller part of it and this just looks like a standard machine gun here that also can be pulled back as a spring action feature and the clip also comes out you can see the bullet shell is a lot smaller and thinner so there is the gun uh, pretty cool how it comes off in uh, different parts and sections uh, it makes it more detailed and more fun to play with I guess if you're a kid alright so there's his gun probably one of the coolest parts of this figure is his gun because you can't really find that anywhere else at least I've never seen it anywhere else so now here is the figure in his uniform uh, like I said earlier I like the way this uniform looks uh, I like the green camo looks great especially with the arm and knee pads on there so this vest does come off I'll go ahead and take that off for you and we'll take a look at that here it is, just a uh, normal green camo vest. And underneath we have some more green camo. It's just a average camo shirt here. Um, over here it says U.S. Army, and then over here it says G.I. Joe. Okay, and on the belt, he does come with a nifty looking uh, pistol holster here which straps onto his belt and his knee I like that I like how it does that it looks pretty cool okay and here is the pistol it comes with um, if you watched my other videos um, the World War II figures come with a typical World War II pistol and this is the average GI Joe modern pistol that usually comes with the modern GI Joes um, which I like this one better than the World War II one. I think it has more detail. Um, you can pull it back here and you can see the bullet. I love that. That looks really good. And this one is a little different. Most of them are black, but this one is like a silver, a dark, very dark silver color, which I appreciate. So it does look a little different from all the other ones that come with the modern G.I. Joe's. And speaking of modern, um, so far I've really only done World War II G.I. Joe's, so this is a little different for me. I'm taking a break from the World War II and uh, doing some modern ones here. Um, I'll probably do a mis uh, mix of them, because I do have a lot of other World War II G.I. Joe's that I want to review as well. But I thought I'd just uh, throw in a modern one here, because I have a lot of modern ones as well. Anyway, so let me take off his belt. Okay, as I said, this is strapped onto his leg. Um, I won't take that off. I'll just kind of leave it dangling here. And if you open up his shirt, we see a dog tag, of course. There's his dog tag. And uh, I also want to mention his arm pads here. It's a dark green color. They look kind of dirty. I love the way that looks. And I like the green. Usually they are black the ones that I have anyway so it's uh, refreshing to get green ones and his knee pads as well the same dirty green color looks great with the figure and then we have the uh, we got some heavy du duty looking army boots here which look great with the figure as well alrighty so that is the advanced weapons tester like I said um, he was very rare. In fact, I don't even think he's listed on eBay right now. Uh, you can find him on Amazon, but he's very expensive on Amazon. Uh, eBay is definitely the way to go if you could find him, if you're thinking about buying this figure. Definitely recommend him. He's a very neat one, very cool one to display, and very rare. So if you do get him, well, congratulations. It took me a little while to get him for a good price like I said you can go on Amazon I think he's like $80 there so 
I would wait if you are going to get them. I would wait to find them on eBay if you can. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll be posting some more videos soon.